so this is an ANS question. The question over here is identify the developmental anomaly as shown in the figure below. So where as we can see this is basically what they are trying to say is they have shown a talons cusp and they want to understand the type of talon that you see over here. What is exactly a talon? If you see an eagle's foot, this is how it looks. So this is what is called as a talon and when you see on the incisors also, they usually occur on the maxillary incisors and this is how they look. They extend from the cingulum and they go sometimes all the way up to the incisal edge. So this is what is a talon is about. It is present primarily on the incisors, the central incisors more often than the lateral incisors and they are present more on the palatal surface than on the buccal surface. However, there have been case reports where they have said that it can occur on the buccal surface as well. Of here the answer is a complete talon. So eagle's talon, it is composed of normal enamel and dentine and contains a horn of pulp tissue. So what can happen is since you have a talon cusp over here, okay, so there could be a possible developmental groove that could be present between the cusp as well as the palatal surface of the maxillary of the incisor, sorry. So this groove can be difficult to clean and since it is difficult to clean, it can lead to caries. Now since it leads to caries and it goes undetected, it can lead to pulpal involvement and eventually the patient can have, will have to undergo root canal treatment, okay. Can fall under this talons cusp can be basically classified into three types, type 1, type 2 and type 3. The type 1 is also called as a complete talon and it projects. So if this is your lat uh, palatal surface and this is your CEJ, it projects all the way from the CEJ and extends to greater than two thirds. It extends either to two thirds or greater than two thirds. of the surface of the tooth, okay. In semi-talon, one mm or more, but extends less than half the distance. So this is at least half, so half to two third, okay lesser than half and trace talon is basically it is just a small projection that you see over here. So these are the three types of talons. One of the what is the most important syndrome that is associated with this talons cusp? Rubinstein Davy. And this is also a neat MCQ question. What are the problems that can, other problems that can occur with talons cuspus? When you are occluding, it can cause interference with normal occlusion because if this is your lower incisor, okay, and this is the upper incisor. And if you have a talons cusp projecting over here, it can lead to difficulty in occlusion.